Are you going to the Faroe Islands trying to take amazing photos for the gram but you do not want to roam with your profile because you know that roaming can be super expensive? Well you're lucky because in this video I will tell you all about SIM cards in the Faroe Islands. So let's just get started shall we? Hi, it's Otto from Phone Tovers here and today we will be talking about SIM cards in the Faroe Islands. Before I actually talk about the operator here in the Faroe islands <laughs> i actually want to say something related to roaming because the Faroe islands is not part of the european union or the european economic area so eea and that means that if you have a european sim card or you come from the eu going to the Faroe islands thinking that you can roam for free watch out because it's not part of the eu so that means that the uh, roam like at home regulation does not apply to those going to the Faroe islands there are some operators that do include the Faroe Islands, although there are not that many and I cannot really think of one on top of my head. So really make sure to check your operator before you actually do so. So that's just a quick note. Now let's talk about the operators here in the Faroe Islands. You have two. You have Fororia Tele, if pronounced correctly, I don't really speak Faroes, <laughs> but their mobile brand is called Fair. And then you have Hey by Vodafone and Faro, so that's a bit easier to say. So you have these two options. So what I will be doing is I will talk about these two operators individually, talk about the data packages they offer, and at the end I will tell you which one or which ones are the best. Maybe they're both good, maybe they're both bad. We will find out. And if you're interested in finding out the best SIM cards all over the world, I have an Excel sheet with the best SIM cards in over 230 destinations. That's why I will tell you per destination which operator or operators are the best, why they are the best, how much a SIM card costs, and how much it costs to get a data pack that costs with at least a gigabyte of data for seven days. I will send it right to your mailbox and it's updated monthly so every month you will get an updated version so you can get up-to-date information so sign up for my newsletter phonetourist.com slash newsletter and i will send it to you straight away now back to the operators here in the Faroe islands let's start with fair fair has the best coverage throughout the islands or the Faroe islands but the thing is they're also the more expensive option so depending on where you're going let's say if you're going to rural Faroe islands then fair might be a good option but be prepared to pay a bit more for the quality of service you receive. Do know that in the Faroe Islands they have their own currency which is called the Faroe's uh, something something but they also use the Danish krona which is DKK and it looks like the Danish krona is used much more than the well, local currency. So when I talk about the prices I'll be talking about the Danish krona because it's widely available and widely accepted throughout the Faroe Islands. If you fly into Faga Airport, if pronounced correctly, you can get a SIM card for 97 Danish Krona and it comes with 2 gigabytes of data and 25 Danish Krona in credit for calling, texting or roaming if you actually want to, although I wouldn't recommend to, but it is a possibility. You could say that this is a tourist SIM card because, well, you get it at the airport, but there are also regular SIM cards available and they come in the following um, denominations and with the following data allowances. 157 Danish Kona, 1 gigabyte of data, 197 Danish Kona, 6 gigabyte of data, 247 Danish Kona, 16 gigabyte of data, 287 Danish Kona, 26 gigabyte of data, and 367 Danish Kona, 46 gigabytes of data. You can get the SIM card at fair stores, supermarkets, even gas stations if you want to well, get gas and buy a SIM card when you are there. Even though these data allowances sound very well, appealing compared to the tourist one, do know that if you get these data packs, you are required to be a customer for at least two months. What does this mean? That you are at least prepaid two months, even though you are going to use the data for, let's say, one week. So be aware that even though I said, let's say, the price was 247 Danish Kona, double that, so that is 494 Danish Kona. So be aware of that. If you want, you can also buy an add-on for 100 Danish Krona and then you can use the allowance you get, so let's say 46 gigabytes of data in the following countries. Australia, Canada, China, Europe. It's not clarified or determined if it's, well, European Union or the whole of Europe, so that's something, well, we have to find out eventually. Russia, Indonesia, Israel, South Korea, Thailand, and the United States. And with this add-on, you can also call to these countries when you're in Iceland. So it's quite a nice add-on. If it's cheap, uh, depends on who you ask. <laughs> Let's say if you're out of data, then you can buy these top-up 
data add-ons. There are three of them. 50 data scoring at 2 gigabytes of data, 100 data scoring at 5 gigabytes of data, and 130 data scoring at 10 gigabytes of data. Then we have Vodafone V, which has the mobile brand called Hey, just simple Hey. And the coverage of Vodafone V is slightly worse than the one of Fair, but Vodafone V is generally cheaper than Fair. So those are your trade-offs. You can get a Hey SIM card for 229 Danish kroner and it comes with 5 gigabytes of data. In addition to the 5 gigabytes of data, you also get 250 Danish kroner in credit for calling, texting and yeah, whatever you need credit for. And the thing with Hey or Vodafone Faro is that they do not have any data packages. So if you need more data, you can, you can buy the same package for 229 Danish kroner and then you will get another 5 gigabyte of data and 250 Danish kroner in credit so that's your only option with Vodafone file or fan. So now is the question which one of these two is the best? Is it fair or is it hey? Before I tell you make sure to subscribe to this channel where I do this type of local sim card guides all the time but I also talk about all the stuff like international sim cards, mobile hotspots and roaming with your provider because it doesn't always have to be super expensive and it just takes a lot of time to get this information as well. I also do sim card reviews and that's the fun part which you can also see on the channel so make sure to subscribe but for now we have to find out which Fao's sim card is the best and the answer is quite simple it really depends on what you plan on doing if you're just staying in the capital of Fao Islands which I think is Faga or well let's just say if you're staying in a populated area go with Vodafone because they're cheaper than hey no fair sorry hey is Vodafone and fair is uh, the order operator that cannot pronounce but the thing is that if you don't really need that much data just get the one from fair at the airport that will come with two gigabytes of data for 97 Danish kroner. if you're going to rural Faroe Islands like I don't even know what rural Faroe Islands is you might want to consider fair because they have better coverage and you will likely have better yeah reception and higher speeds with fair when you are not far away compared to Vodafone but it doesn't mean that Vodafone is bad it's just that the coverage is well, slightly worse than the one of fair so that's your answer if you thought this video was insightful like the video and comment down below which operator you will try when you go to the Faroe Islands and if you are or have been to the Faroe Islands tell us which sim card you have tried and let us know how your experience was if you want up to date information related to packages go to phonetravis.com slash Faroe Islands dash guide with the dash between Faroe and Islands cause well the two separate words when you're at the site check out my other articles related to local sim cards from places in Europe, the Americas, Oceania, Africa, all over the world. Also international SIM cards, SIM card reviews, mobile hotspots, one which you provide, just everything related to traveling with your phone. That's it for today and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.